Hey guys, welcome to Danny's World and on today's video we're going to be picking a what Harry Potter movie it is by BuzzFeed just giving us one scene. Fingers crossed that we can do this, let's hope. Okay, so BuzzFeed thinks that we can't tell the Harry Potter film based off one scene. Let's prove them wrong. Let's hope that I can actually do that now that I've said that. We'll see. So let's start off nice and easy. What film is this moment from? So that's after Ron's told Malfoy to eat slugs, but his wand's broken so it backfires and he ends up throwing up slugs himself. I know this because I've watched this recently because I was sick and I decided to rewatch the Harry Potter movies. I only got to number three, but that's besides the point. So this is from number three. Yeah, three. Oh, it's from number two. Cause uh, oh yeah, that's right. Cause after that she uh, gets um petrified and yeah oh that's from the first one it's so this scene is obviously the first years going to the castle in the boats because that's kind of like tradition the first years have to go to the castle in the boats otherwise there on after they always um just take those carts so this is the first one yep right we are oh number four this is where Gobble of Fire, so this is where, um... I can't think of it. Oh, Cedric Diggory. I was like, Robert Pazman? Edward Cullen? I don't know. Um, this is where Cedric Diggory and Harry have both won the Triwizard Court Tournament. So they've both touched the cup at the same time. However, um, someone's actually made it into a port key. So they go travelling to a graveyard. So this is Gobble of Fire. Do you catch Hedwig in all her glory? This is number one, because this is what... Wait, number three. Number three, because this is... No? I don't know, this could be... This could be number one? Or this could be number three, because... Number three... He falls into... The Whomping Willow, and his broom breaks. So I'm gonna... Actually, I'm gonna say number three. Number one. Which film would you find Hermione looking this stumped? This is the Half-Blood Prince because this is a really hard potion to make and Harry gets it right but that's only because he's not following the instructions he's following the side notes where the Half-Blood Prince has written in the book. Oh! Number three. Uh, yeah. This is where the Headmaster Dumbledore the uh, Cornelius Fudge the Prime Ministry, Minister of Magic um, and then the killing guy comes to kill Buckbeak and they shouldn't be there after after like a certain time so they have to sneak out the back. Let's wrap things up. What installment is this Malfoy moment from? The way he looks. That could... That, I'm gonna say Order of the Phoenix. I don't know why. It's just giving me those vibes. Nope. Gobble of Fire. There you go. Oh, that's right. It's where he gets like turned into a ferret and yeah, yeah. Okay. Another outdoor, outdoor scene here, but which film is this from? This is from Deathly Hallows Part 1. So it's shortly after they had the wedding, they've been attacked and they have to get out fast. Yep. This adventure is looking... I don't know what that says. Tape? Tape? What? Okay. Anyway. Uh, this is from... Oh. I want to say Deathly Hallows Part 1 too. Like, Part 1 as well. Or the Phoenix. See, I, I don't... That's my least favourite. I despise that movie. Back to Hogwarts. In which film would you find Harry stuck in his possible bed? This is where... Um... Alright, this is number 2. Chamber Secrets. But this is where Harry's had like something happened to him at Quidditch and oh what's his name? Charms professor that's famous and stuff. A Gildrew Locker. He tries to fix his bones but instead of fixing them he actually gets rid of them so he's got to grow all his bones back. Oh. What are you doing? 
explain to me. This is part four. It's either at the start of part two or the... I think it's a part one. I just know that they make you wait an awful long time. Oh, is it? Yeah, it is. Because it's just after he's died. Sorry, spoiler alert. Uh, don't watch this video if you, you know, haven't seen Harry Potter. Or you want to and you don't want spoilers. But anyway. So this is pretty much just after Snape has died. He's taken his teardrop and he's put it in the pensive, I think it's called. To see, like, his side of things. I th I'm going to say part one. Yeah, it's part two, because they make you, like, wait to, like, the ve the very end, nearly. To actually make you feel sorry for Snape. But you don't know where- this is number two. Because it's where Harry Potter doesn't- it's his first time using flu powder to travel. This is Order of the Phoenix. Because I'm pretty sure you see- I can't- I can never remember. Her name all I know is she's a pink lady yes because he's going under trial because he used magic outside of school that's oh no this is Gobble of Fire because this is where she's in the bathroom like the boys like no I don't even know if it's just the boys but it's like the the head up um Kind of like a whole pool bathroom thing, I don't know. But it's Gobble of Fire because he's trying to figure out the, the the golden egg from the TAS. Yeah, that is from number two. There's a lot from number two in this and it's good that I've just recently kind of watched it. It's the Cornish Pixies where Gilgy Lockhart has left them roaming in the bathroom. Where would you find this cozy spot? This is the Quidditch World Cup. Now, I don't feel, I feel like it's half, no. No, it's Goblet of Fire because they literally have Cedric Diggory in this, like, they see him in this area. Well, not in this area specific, but like, you know, you get one. Finally, which installment do we meet this troubled, troubled young lad in? I want to say Hapla Prince because that's where you're going and seeing all the stuff for Dumbledore? Yeah, yeah. 13 out of 17! So I scored better than 41% of other quiz takers. Damn, I'm impressed. From the schoolyard scenes to the pensive memories, Barely anything had you stumped. I bet you could pass this quiz with your eyes shut. I'm guessing your Hogwarts letter got lost in the post. That's devastating. Imagine if you actually got a Hogwarts letter. That'd be so cool. Like, imagine just going to THE Hogwarts. That would be so cool. Well guys, I hope you enjoy this and hope you may have got more than me. Uh, let me know down in the comments what your score was and see if you actually got them right. 13 is the number to beat. So thanks for watching and subscribe and make sure you give a thumbs up. Bye.